Hi, everybody, and welcome to Greek This Week. Our Greek word for the week is klados, um, in the traditional pronunciation, klados. Um, and this word is usually translated as branch or branches. Obviously highly relevant for this upcoming Sunday, which is Palm Sunday. So where does this word appear in scripture? Well, we hear about the palm branches uh, in Matthew, the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, verse 8. Now, this word klados has many different meanings in scripture, um, or di many different uses, rather, I should say. Um, in the Gospel of Matthew, for example, we see Jesus using this word in reference to the branches of the mustard plant uh, or bush. Uh, in the famous parable of the mustard seed, Jesus says, But when it has grown, speaking about the mustard plant, it is the greatest of shrubs and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. Now, this, this image of birds uh, making nests in the branches is, is very reminiscent of uh, Daniel, the book of Daniel, chapter 4, verse 12. A very um, interesting verse, and perhaps Jesus is thinking of this imagery from the book of Daniel here. Uh, in the Gospel, uh, again, of Matthew, in chapter 24, verse 32, uh, Jesus uses this word klados in reference to the branches of a fig tree. Uh, Jesus says, from the fig tree learn its lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts forth its leaves, you know that summer is near. So here, the branch is some kind of sign of uh, an important time or season or moment, like kairos, that we looked at in the first Greek this week. Um, and again, we see this word uh, crop up in, in uh, Paul. In the letter to the Romans, Paul has the famous image of the olive tree of Israel. Um, whoever is part of Israel uh, as this olive tree um, and the branches are also holy, says Paul in chapter 11, verse 16. Um, and then he keeps using this word klados to describe the branches, the various branches of this uh, olive tree. So those are just some uses from the New Testament, from other uh, parts of the New Testament. Now, this word is also used um, in uh, Greek drama, especially in Sophocles and Euripides. Um, in Sophocles' play Oedipus Tyrannus, uh, this word is used uh, to describe branches that suppliants carry. So suppliants being people who are expressing some kind of plea to somebody in a position of power. They carry these branches uh, to the steps of the altars in the city of Thebes in this play. In Euripides, in his play Ion, the god Hermes uses this word in reference to little boughs of laurel, of uh, laurel tree or laurel branches. And people are offering these branches at the shrines, various shrines or temples of gods. So we see from this, these uses in Sophocles and Euripides in Greek drama that the klados, the branch, is also uh, something that people would bring as a kind of offering, as a uh, supplication to various temples or shrines or altars of the gods. So it's interesting to combine these two different uses, um, similar perhaps, but slightly different in the New Testament and also in uh, Greek, uh, ancient Greek drama. Um, but branches refers both to these various scriptural metaphors of different trees, the mustard, the fig, the olive, and also functions in Greco-Roman and the Hellenistic world as being a symbol of a sacred supplication uh, to a specific god at a specific temple or shrine. Um, and then we're not even getting into the various uh, meanings of victory um, that are also in the Greco-Roman Greco world. That may be for another time too big a subject, but so that is our Greek this week. Thank you.